We knew from the moment that the Emergencies Act was invoked that that represented a failure. It represented a failure on a number of fronts, a failure on all levels of government to respond to the serious problem of the, of the convoy. It meant that the prime minister didn't take it seriously. The premier certainly didn't take it seriously. Doug Ford ignored it entirely. And the mayor of, of Ottawa ignored the seriousness. Doug Ford, by the way, did not appear at the Public Order Emergency Commission. You may remember that. That's right. Doug Ford got away and so did uh, Sylvia Jones. And the problem was really clear. We had, we had citizens that were being harassed and intimidated, uh, food banks where staff were being harassed. This was an ongoing thing. Okay, so he's 100% going right down that hole. That's where he wants to go. Okay, so everyone's being harassed, intimidated. Well, why did so many Canadians come? Why did so many Canadians of all stripes, zebras, spotted, yellow, purple, orange, why did they all come down? What was the reason? Was it because, well, let's find out what he says. Not one-off scenarios. We had people that were, that were wearing masks, were being intimidated and harassed in the streets. Uh, people faced the worst lockdowns that they'd ever experienced throughout the pandemic in Ottawa. The citizens faced the worst of it because of the convoy. Businesses were <laughs> The businesses shut down themselves, right? The BIAs, the business associations told their own members to shut down. Anybody who did not shut down was visited by police. You may remember Iconic Cafe and many other locations, many other places that were intimidated into shutting down. This is absolute bunk. I'm amazed to see this appalled. Shut down. Kids were struggling to go to school. People couldn't sleep at night. It, it was pretty horrible. And given how bad things were and how people were being targeted, all levels of government failed the people of Ottawa and also failed uh, workers, thousands of workers. Okay, well, that's the only thing I would say 100%. All levels of government did fail the people of Canada completely to have an unprecedented, as they like to use the word, unprecedented amount of Canadians show up at the same time in minus 20 degrees many, many days. Well, there's a reason for it. And the reason was... We simply were having our civil liberties stripped away and we wanted to show up, show some love, be touched, be hugged, be together again like human beings. I know it's so strange. And yet what's so amazing is we didn't have any kind of uptick in anything, did we? We all got along and felt pretty good, felt pretty healthy for all those weeks, all those parties, all those great times that I will never, ever forget. Truly the highlight of my adult life. Lost thousands of hours of work because of shutdowns at the border. And none of this was taken seriously. There was a failure of policing. It's very clear that all levels of policing also failed to take this seriously. It should never have got to this point. And so that's why I think that the commission, the work of the commission is so important to identify how we can prevent those failures from happening because it was as a result of all those levels of failure that we had to invoke the Emergencies Act. Okay, so in other words, we should have cracked down harder. That's really what he's saying here. It was a result, it was a failure of all policing at all kinds of levels, all kinds of governments. It should never have been able to grow to that size and everything else. That's great, Jagmeet Singh. That's great. Absolutely. His name, by the way, is Jimmy Dollywall. That's his birth name right there. He's a put on faker. He's His bloodline's from the same place as mine. Good job. But this guy, 100%, I'm telling you right now, he is a faker. Loves to throw his ethnicity around, but don't believe a word he says. Because I'm telling you right now, regular, normal Canadian people do not feel like this guy. This guy's a faker. And that it, it was in no way a success. It was an example of the, the serious failures that occurred to get us to that point. So I'm hoping the commission will highlight how we can avoid getting to that point in the future. What do you want to see addressed in the, the report once it is tabled? Well, I'm hoping that there is a, a serious consideration of the problems in policing. The fact that there was a, a lot of evidence that came forward of police colluding with the convoy, supporting the convoy. And it's important to keep in mind, the convoy made their goals very clear supporting the convoy colluding with the convoy well i'll tell you what regular police officers absolutely knew that it was wrong there's a lot of people out there they knew that it was wrong but colluding with where are you getting your information from that's what i want to know what are you talking about colluding with we did the entire public order emergency commission which was designed to find out if there was any reason rationale to invoke the emergency act given the CSIS act being a national emergency well that didn't really happen did it there's nothing really that came out, but we're going to find out. Now, they're saying we're going to get an advance report tomorrow, the 17th of February. Well, I want to see. And then there's another question here. Why are they releasing that report? They were supposed to release it on February 20th. Why do they want to release it now early? What's the reason for that, given that so many people are coming down to Ottawa in the next two, three days? Do they want to engineer something? I don't know. You tell me, but I'll be there downtown Ottawa, regardless, with all my brethren saying a big hail to freedom. That's right. Honor, accountability, integrity, and loyalty. We're going to be hailing freedom tomorrow together next couple days regardless of what the government says or doesn't say the convoy the organizers you know there's maybe many people that maybe didn't know this or maybe people that were, were unaware or weren't participants but the organizers the central organizers made it very clear what their goal was their goal was to overthrow the government okay absolutely not it was said 110 times and i don't know how many more times we've got to say i can tell you right now bridget belton who actually led one of the major major parts of the convoy coming in who was one of the big initiators of this whole thing 
she said it so many times. It's about the fact that I didn't know if I would be able to come back through the border. The vac, the sorry, I can't use that word. The mandates, okay, stopping her from coming through the border, coming through the border without having any kind of paperwork. This was the reason. End all mandates. That was the thing. And now they want to put up a straw man specifically about some MOU, right? One document that some dudes wrote, some people wrote, and just smear the entire people, the Canadian people that came out en masse, thousands upon thousands of people. Every day, no matter the temperature, no matter the weather, no matter where they came from, they drove. It was incredible. They didn't hide that. They stated it very boldly on a website. They repeated it in, in, in numerous press conferences. Wrong. You repeated it in many, many press conferences. The media repeated it in many, many press conferences. They wanted to overthrow a dem democratically elected government with a committee of their own choosing. I mean, it was very clear what their goal was. And the fact that policing and other levels, other security forces were colluding with these folks is deeply concerning. Like their goal was not uh, an innocuous goal. Their goal was to overthrow government. Oh, thanks. You could even see his tells, his body language right there. It's deeply concerning. Like their goal was not uh, an obvious goal. Their goal was to overthrow government. His blinks, his looking down. He knows he's lying. Um, and to replace it like a, in a fascist way without having any elections, without having elected officials. Pretty serious that, that, uh, that security forces were still working with them despite their very clear stated goal. So that's something that I, want, I hope is addressed. Uh, and again, the ultimate failures that got us to this point, I hope, are addressed. What can be done in the future to prevent that from happening?